Oh, you never guess where I am. Oh, there I am, look, at the 30 mile post at Marsden Junction on the, yes, you guessed it. Well, you know, I'm gonna go and take a look at the other end at the zero mile post. So, starting at Marsden Junction at the old stop lock at Bridge 15A at the 30 mile post. You know, as lovely as it looks down this end, you're in for a treat because this is August 2022 and I'm bringing you bang up to date and February the 20th, 2023. And I'm just continuing with my um, Ashby Canal Odyssey. Uh, I'm going to call it an Odyssey. Look at the weather. So we're off on our Ashby Canal Odyssey down to Marsden Junction. Realise it's five o'clock in the evening and it's 16 degrees uh, here at Overseal. I'm at the extreme end, the extreme end. There's the fisheries over there. Some fishermen there. I'm at the extreme end of the Ashby Canal. The unnavigable part of it where I guess this is where it literally ended and it splits into two forks which suggests that it was some sort of port um, as indeed I think it is with that because what I'm doing is I'm tracing it but I'm not looking it up on the internet I'm trying to do it using my own sort of like my own um, background if you like here we are folks on Google Maps and there's the terminus or so we think Conkers Waterside Centre and then we move up to Overseal, where we actually find the unnavigable part and the very extreme of the Ashby Canal. What I was actually looking for was the mile marker, um, 030 it should be, if it's up here. I'm gonna try and find it. I'm literally on my way home. Uh, again, doing this on my way home. And uh, I just thought, you know what? I'm working in Derby today. Why don't I just turn off at Ticknell and come up to Overseal on my way? I can, I can cut, cut back across to Meesham and then go home. I'm looking for that mile mark and I won't be happy until I find it. And guess what? I can see it. It's like, it's like a personal achievement. And the strange thing about it is I'm almost magnetic because I know that the railway is just over there as well and the signal box. I just can't tear myself away. But this was well worth waiting for. I am so glad I have come to the furthest part of the Ashby de la Zouche Canal. And here is the mile post. 30 miles with no more to go. And with Ashby de la Zouche just over the way, I think it was well worth coming here this evening, sparing myself a bit more time just to indulge myself in the guilty pleasure, which is the Ashby Canal. <laughs> you know something, since I've um, started narrowboating and since I've owned a boat, since about 2015, my love of the canals, my love of infrastructure, my love of the great outdoors is just getting deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching with me. So there's the culvert just there. And there's the run. And I am so happy I stopped by. It's the first time I've ever been here and I didn't know it come this far. It was just a conversation I was having the other day. And somebody said to me, have you been all the way to the top past Conkers? And I went, well, that's where it finishes. They went, no, 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 I finished there. The mines, the, the collieries went a bit further. And obviously with the railway, being just that way 
and now I understand why. So Tunnel Woods is that way where the tunnel is, the railway tunnel at Gresley. Now I'm going to be investigating that a bit more, but not today. It's too too late in the evening, but and with the sun setting, wow, I just think I made the right choice to come up here today. Just look at that once again. The Ashby Canal. That's that's the far end of it. I'm going to make a video. <laughs> it might only be about five minutes long, but I'm going to make a video. I'm like a big kid. I'm so excited. According to my work colleagues, not many people know about this bit. It literally is like Moyer itself, only a shorter version of it, cut off from the rest of the Ashby Canal. Look at that. With the setting sun behind it, there is the 30 mile post of the Ashby de la Zouche Canal with Marsden Junction that way. Well, what an interesting way to finish my day on such a glorious day too. So that's all the bits of the jigsaw put together and the many stories associated with the Ashby Canal. Here I am walking back now and I'm thinking, you know, there's so much now to put together and so many more exciting videos I can do. And in fact, I will. The story down at the new section between the stop lock and Bridge 62, where there was a breach recently back in 2020 and has since been repaired, but remains unnavigable, but will be restored to its former glory, I guess, at some stage. And we may be enjoying trips up that section too. Those of you that are asking, yes, you're quite right, that section was refilled, um, but it still remains unnavigable. Um, and the fish that flooded out into the field, yes, many of those were rescued uh, by caring volunteers, but there are so many more stories to tell. It's so exciting. And to think also that this would have been the canal going back to Moira. Wow, There's so much to see here. for next time and if you like what you're seeing here please consider subscribing to the channel and if you did this with your favorite youtuber as well i'm sure that they'd appreciate it just as much as i do